What is up, Karatex? In this video, we're going to be customizing the new Benefactor Strider. Very cool looking vehicle. If you remember the XLS that came with the uh, CEO crates update, it has a similar rear end, which is the XLS. And then the front end is like from a shafter. So it's like a combination of a shafter and the XLS SUV, which is kind of cool. Very sporty. You got the fender flares there. And it is approximately $500,000 right there. So I already ordered it. You don't have to wait. And of course, in the description, it's a 4x4. So that's, that's pretty cool. So let's get right into that. So here it is. It's a lot nicer in white, that's for sure. Not bad. Looks like it has a panoramic sunroof, or is that just black? I can't really tell. Oh, that's just black. Okay. All right. All right, right on the D pad to customize. What are we doing today? Let's see what we got. What can I help you with? Armor. Brakes. Bumpers. Let's see. Could be not starting at all. Okay, so that's completely changing the whole front end of it. Okay. Secondary trim. Ooh, this one looks really cool. A street bumper. Oh, wow. This one's nice. The bulkhead. Looks really good. I like the secondary trim down there. It looks pretty cool. I kind of like the white. Yeah, I like the white down there. It looks nice. Okay. Engine hood. Okay, so you have the secondary. You can do a rigid, which I can't really tell. With. Oh, it's got lines on the hood. Yeah, it's got just got lines on the hood. That's nice. Like a subtle little change. You won't really notice that much. And then you have the... Oh, wow, look at that. The vented. Like, like literally just like a Mercedes SUV. That's really cool. Whatever you desire. Oh my gosh, no way. These are just like the Mercedes, uh, like the um, the AMG coupes. They have these on the hood. Competition hood. Mm, I'm not really a fan of that. I mean, I like it, but not for this particular vehicle. This, I'm sold on this race hood, definitely. Horn, doesn't matter. Headlights, go. You can do xenons. So everybody has like a bluish light, so you might as well throw the xenons on there. Respray. Classic. Alright, so for those of you who haven't checked yet or saw my community post, snow is in GTA Online right now. As you can see, the one you can't even see outside. <laughs> it's there's, there's Snow is in GTA Online. They added snow in today, December 22nd, 2017. They added it at about 4.30 in the morning, so Eastern time. All right, so let's go ahead and put a color on this. Uh, I definitely want to keep it in white. I think it looks beautiful in white. And I want it a metallic, and then I'm going to throw on a uh, nice pearlescent on there so it looks kind of like a pearl white. So I'll do like a diamond blue pearlescent over your the white. And then your secondary is... Okay, so it's the roof. And I think that's about it. Oh, the side skirts too. Look at that. Okay. I think the black is fine, to be honest. I'm going to match that black with the uh, wheels here very soon. So let's finish up the transmission, turbo, wheels. I'm surprised there were no rear bumpers. Were there rear bumpers? Did we miss? No, yeah, there's no rear bumpers. That's so strange. Okay. We did the turbo, yes. Wheels, aha, here we go. So this is where we have some fun. Wow, the wheels are huge. My goodness. You can definitely mess around with these. You can find what you want. Uh, I definitely want to do something a little different, per se, um, I think. You can also go through the SUV wheels as well. There's a lot of nice ones in here. These have a little, little bit of a larger profile on the tire, so we'll look a little better. Alright, so I think I know which ones I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with the, uh, where are they? Did I pass them? Oh, here they are. These, but, but, and black, and then you keep the lip on the end to match the little chrome strip on the uh, side skirt right there. It's really nice. And the grill and all that. So you have, a, like, a little bit of chrome to match with the black and the white. And definitely want to tint the windows. I think, I think limo tints look really good on this. I normally don't put that on most vehicles, but on this it looks really good. 
looks like VIP. Okay, um, yeah, that's all the options. It's okay, you know. Nice it to the ground, I guess you have a snow. Very appropriate vehicle for the, for the snow, to be honest. Obviously, you'd have to have some off-road tires or, you know, some snow tires, even though on GTA we don't have any, but we definitely have the off-road, so that's probably the best you're going to get. Wow, this thing's fast. Alright, so one thing I do want to say is going to disappoint on all of you. It looks like an SUV. Has customization like an SUV. But Rockstar said, ha, psych, and they put it in the sports class, as you can see there on the bottom right. Which is very, very sad. I do not agree with that at all. I really think they should have put this in the SUVs class. I mean, there's no reason not to. At this point, the sports class has literally just become the miscellaneous class. That's the best way to think of it, in my opinion. It's literally just the miscellaneous class at this point, because Rockstar just throws everything in there that they really can't think of a class for. So, yeah. Let's see the off-road capability a little bit. She was right here, nice and slow. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm gonna climb over this. Oh, a little effort. Look at that. Not bad. See how it lands. Oh yeah, very good suspension. In reverse the snow, a lot of uh very difficult to handle. You can see a nice little drift with a 4x4. Oh, look at that, it control I, I handbrake I handbraked it and it brought itself back straight again. Not bad. This thing's actually very good in the snow, I'm surprised. Most vehicles don't handle like this in the snow. It's very, very surprising. Take a look at the interior. Alright, so we pretty much got the Shafter V12 interior. That's pretty cool. Not bad at all. I actually like this quite a bit. Honestly, if this would have been in the SUVs class, that would have been very, very, very cool. But a $500,000 sports car SUV, I just can't wrap my head around it. <laughs> I really can't. I don't, I don't think it's worth it at all. Just for the plain and simple fact that they put it in the sports class, aka the miscellaneous class, again. But, um... Yeah, let's open the door, see if they open. I always do that at the end, so we'll go to all, let's see what opens. Oh, look at that. First, we got a nice V8 in there. Not a V12, unfortunately. Not bad. The trunk opens too, which is really cool. Most vehicles don't. Nice touch, Rockstar. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. If it was an SUV, I would recommend it 100% just because of the way it looks. I think it looks pretty cool. But, for, like I said again, for that price range, I really can't recommend it at all to you guys. I mean, it really just is a waste of half a million dollars plus upgrades. So you're literally just throwing away about $800,000 <laughs> on an SUV that's in the sports class. Yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, look in the pin comment in the comment section i'm gonna leave some information there at this moment in time uh i'm recording this on december 22nd like i stated earlier i will be going on vacation from the 23rd through the 27th of december so i won't be able to post as many videos as i'd like to i'm gonna try to bring my ps4 and if you know the hotel has internet and all that stuff it really just depends i mean i'm gonna try my best and bring my laptop and everything and see the best i can do with what i have obviously i'm not gonna bring my ridiculously oversized PC or all well, my setup and all that, but I'll definitely try and see what I can do for you guys. Um, but I really do want to enjoy the vacation with my family, especially since I really only go like once a year. So yeah, guys, that's it. Happy holidays to all of you. If this is the last video I make uh, for the snow and I'll see you in the next one.